Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Zach Lajway. If you're from Texas, you know the weather can be a mixed bag at times and extreme. We can experience all the seasons in one day, including storms, which can be dangerous as we know, and frightening and requiring quick thinking at times. So this morning we're learning more about the threats of severe weather and preparations specifically on how to prepare for hail, an element we could see throughout Houston today. Meteorologist Jeffrey Evans with National Weather Service Houston Galveston is here with us this morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, good morning, Zach. How are you this morning? So far, so good. Uh, I, I, this morning we're talking about the possibility of hail and strong winds. Uh, in your opinion, what is our biggest threat? For, for today, it's going to be some uh, hail. Now, we're not looking at hail like we had last uh, Friday and Saturday, fortunately. You know, last week, as you, you all just talked about, we had hail tennis ball, tennis ball to baseball size. Wow. Uh, today, we're not looking at that kind of atmosphere. It's not quite as volatile. Uh, but we still could see some, you know, half inch to one inch type of hailstones, particularly south of I-10 and, and towards Matagorda Bay, uh, where that uh, severe thunderstorm watch is in effect uh, through this morning. So that's kind of what we're monitoring on the floor right now and something we want people to be, uh, be aware of. When we talk about these elements, why are these elements so dangerous for southeast Texas? Well, I mean, uh, you know, this is that time of year where, you know, if you remember last week going into that late week uh, severe thunderstorm event for us, we were really warm, very unseasonably warm, very humid, but it's still early in the year. So it's also very cold aloft and we have a lot of weather systems that are moving through. So that sets the stage for what we dealt with last week, uh, where we can get these supercell thunderstorms, which are very intense, can produce very strong winds, as we saw could be damaging winds, very large hail. Uh, today, uh, not quite as volatile, but once again, the environment is there to get some you know, marginal to uh, low in severe hail for us. Jeffrey, I've been here in Houston for about three years now, and it was a few weeks ago for the first time I heard one of our meteorologists use the term grapple. And I was like, what is grapple? I had to look it up. Uh, what is the difference between grapple and hail? And can grapple, is grapple uh, as damaging as hail? Generally not. So grapple is like the uh, the uh, embryo of hail, so to speak. So sometimes those really early hailstones get heavy enough they fall out of the cloud uh, before they really grow into larger, more damaging or harder hailstones. Uh, grapple can even splatter when it hits the ground. So uh, it's generally not damaging, uh, but it's a neat phenomenon when it does happen. And it is a uh, grapple is a real weather word. So. There you go. You learned something. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was taken aback for sure that day. OK, talk to us about, you know, this is my final question for you this morning, sir. You know, as we have a, a, a few hours, perhaps for some of us, uh, some of us have already dealt with uh, some bands moving through this morning. But what is your message to people ahead of the potential for severe weather today? Well, for today, you know, the, like I said, the main potential is going to be for hail. Uh, the only thing you can really do to to damage or protect your property from any sort of damage is to pull it inside. So, you know, under a, when you're in a severe thunderstorm watch, maybe that's a time to clear out your garage so you can pull that car in it. Mm -hmm. uh, understand that the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch just means conditions are favorable. We have yet to issue any warnings this morning. When a warning comes out, that means that the threat is imminent uh, or ongoing. So that's a that's the time you'd really want to uh, maybe cover your uh, any items that you want to protect, particularly if the warning is talking about hail sizes you know greater than an inch mm -hmm. uh, and we do put our projected or estimated hail size in those warnings so when those warnings come out pay attention to those uh, listen to what the the, uh, the experts are telling you and try to get your uh, your you know your property uh, covered up or protected yeah all good information jeffrey evans thank you so much for your time this morning sir we appreciate it all right. take care zach thanks